Hello and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a full review of Alpha Leap's drop that is coming on the 16th of December at 6pm 6 6pm 6 CST? 6pm UK time, 12pm CST. Um, straight away, yes, I'm getting deja vu. It feels very, 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 very close to my Black Friday content. Um, so I do want to, first of all, start by acknowledging how soon after Black Friday this feels. I know that a lot of other activewear brands are now starting to do, you know, drops in December as well. And Alphalete has done one before when I've been with them. Um, but it does feel, especially with it being an Amplify drop, and there was Amplify in the Black Friday sale, very close together. So I just want to say, you know, if you want to sit this one out, or you spent a lot on Black Friday, or you're like, oh my god, like I'm annoyed that this didn't drop for Black Friday or before. Trust me, I get it. I get why you would feel frustrated. Um, one thing I guess to mention would be the birthday sale in February. I'm not gonna say that if you really, really want something from this drop, you should absolutely wait because some of the contour stuff did sell out when it dropped or before Black Friday in certain sizes anyway. However, if you are on the fence about any of the items in this video, you could wait until February because the gap between the contour first dropping and Black Friday was very similar to the gap between this drop and their birthday sale in February, which is always at the start of February. And there was a lot, not everything, but there was a decent amount of contour still in stock for the Black Friday sale. So you might be okay, but some of these colours are quite unique, very different. For example, the Times Square is very different to anything that Alpha Elite has actually done before. So yeah, if you really, really want something, as I always say, not worth waiting necessarily because it could sell out. But if you're on the fence about things, you could wait until the birthday sale. And yes, I have actually done a multiple sizes review for the contour range before. So I will leave that linked below um, so that you can see what it looks like on different body shapes and sizes. I have already done the contour drop on different bodies, which hopefully it's gonna be a video of use to you. And I will leave that linked below. I did that a few months ago. And yeah, I do have a discount code with Alpha Elite. I nearly said support code then. I mean, it is still a support code. I do have a discount code with Alpha Elite, which will get you 10% off your order, but also it directly supports me. It lets Alpha Elite know you like what I'm doing, you like my content, and to put it bluntly, allows me to keep working with them. Um, so yes, if you would like to use my code, it will get you 10% off and it will help support me in many ways, but also help me to continue my relationship with Alpha Lee. So if you like my reviews, then it would mean a lot if you can use it. But of course, it's completely up to you. And I will be doing um, vouchers this month for anyone who does shop with my code. But obviously if you're not planning on shopping, don't shop just to enter the giveaway. It's just for people who would already be shopping. And yeah, if you ever do use my code or if you've ever got a question or anything like that, please, let me know, message me on Instagram so I can thank you personally or get back to any questions that you do have. Yes, this drop is a relatively small drop. So with that being said, this could actually end up being one of my shortest hauls recently. I know I say this quite frequently, but I genuinely mean it because there really isn't that much to go over. Um, and things are very similar to the last contour drop. So there isn't too much to go over. If you want like a full in-depth, the whole shebang, like comparison of like, normal amplifier to this amplifier like very much in depth i will leave that linked below but i'm going to focus on like the colors any changes fit fabric feel squat tests and all that sort of stuff in this video on this side of the screen i'm going to pop everything that is launching i'm going to drop the pdf on this side of the screen and on this side of the screen i'm going to put my measurements here for you guys so you know what my measurements are and to like alpha leap spec i should be a size small in everything so use that in your mind when I'm going over sizing and stuff. If I'm a size small in something, it means it's true to size. Um, if I'm a size extra small, it means you should probably size down. If I'm a medium, it means you, you should probably size up um, because to their spec, especially for seamless, I am uh, a size small. So here I am gonna pop in my lookbook. It's always really, really important to me, especially with quite a few of these colors being um well let's say quite a few a couple of them are a bit unique for alpha Lee, so i really really like to give you guys some lookbook inspiration because especially like like i said at the start of this video it feels like this drop is very close to black friday so people might not you know you might really like a color but you might not have enough money for the full set right now or you might just want to be sensible with money and only get like a bottom or a top so i really like to show in my haul sort of different um, outfit combinations with previous 
um, products that Alphalete has done for each colorway and also I've done the t-shirts as well that I've got. So yeah, I hope it's helpful and I hope it shows you that you don't need to buy a full set because especially with like the Times Square color, which is really quite unique and bright, it can feel like you would need the full set, but there's actually a couple colors that it looks really, really cute with. So yeah, I will pop my lookbook clips in here. It's lookbook time. We've got Skyscraper first with Mocha V2 because I feel like Mocha's got a silvery undertone somehow. So it really goes with it then i've got still water um because it's sort of like bluey gray and then of course smoke goes well with um skyscraper as well moving on tartan red with the new manhattan shock gingerbread with manhattan i really really like as well um and then the chestnut pulse i feel like chestnut and tartan red go with a lot when it comes to neutrals so um times square with chestnut if you want to do something a bit more toned down and then i did two bright so we've got cheeky coral if you want to go full orange or formula red if you want to give christmas it's christmas um and then back to tartan red with new burgundy i really 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 like this outfit and then i'm showing you here that it works with dusty rose and crayon i don't like this brow with this shrug but i just wanted to show you that both colors work with it um yeah so cypress looks really really good with central park I like this if you've got any of those bras. Um, love chocolate with Central Park. We love looking like a tree. Climate change, you know? Um, and then Sage, God, wow, the label is out, babe. The label is out. Um, Sage, I really like it with Grand Central. I don't know, creamy vibes. Um, just showing you that Grand Central looks really, really good with the overcast um, hoodies and joggers and then Pink Sands. So you already know Pink Sands or Ivy was making it in and this time it was Pink Sands. Um, what am I doing there? Oh my God, wow, I didn't realise I'd done that. So um, the new cement tee looks really good with Grand Central. It looks really good with the overcast joggers and it also looks really, really good with the silver earth dye joggers if you've got those. Um, so those would be some of my fave pairings for that and then with the green ghost tea again giving tree going with a dark brown so that's it with chocolate and then i did it with cypress bit of green on green action slightly different shades but i still really really like them together and then with the new um central park stunning absolutely love that Bob Sharon Cup fan okay so we are going to actually get into the haul now the first thing I'm going to go over is colors I will then go over the two new bras that are dropping and then I'll go over shorts and leggings and then I will go over the heavy cotton pump covers right at the end but for amplify there are one two three four wait six new colors drop in um these are colors that haven't dropped before they are not restocks or anything like that although some of them are very very similar to some previous colors and i just want to highlight as well that whilst i may have like every single color from this drop in something this is definitely not normal always remember when you're watching these sorts of videos that like it is not normal like to have every single color like just buying one or two is perfectly fine the only reason i get every single color is because i do these for work for review obviously i'm not paying for them i'm getting them for free which helps a lot as well um but yeah don't look at this and be like you need every single color you really really don't and i'm gonna put in like color wheels and stuff so that you can sort of see which colors you already have in your wardrobe or what sort of tones and shades you already have that go with the new colors you can pick the colors that are going to work best with the rest of your wardrobe and you're not stuck with a color that's like it might be really beautiful but does it go with much that you've already got maybe not and i've also taken clips in daylight because obviously i'm using a ring light now it's very very dark outside i've also taken clips in daylight of each color with colors they are most similar to so that you can see i was gonna like hold them up um nicole and liz asked me to do that but when i'm doing it with a ring light it just feels a little bit redundant because the colors aren't necessarily super super true to color so yeah i'm filming with a ring light because it's very very dark in the uk at the moment but all my color comparisons color wheels the color clips i'm putting in and also all my try on clips is all done in broad daylight natural lighting so to start we've got times square which is this like brick red orange it's like a ready orange shade it's not truly orange it's also not truly red um when you put it next to something orange it looks really red when you put it next to something red it looks more orange but it's a very unique color for alphalete they do not have another color that is like this um colors like fireside 
and uh, copper, like I thought they would be similar to this. No, this is a very unique shade. Um, and in terms of mal, because I know that people always like to know about that, I feel like with most amplify colours, if you look close enough, they're all mild pretty much. However, this one looks very, 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 very solid, like from afar, and you really have to look up close to see a mile on it. Like it's it's got a slight mile to it, but it's pretty much solid. And from a distance, it's gonna look solid. Up close, you can see a bit of mild, but from a distance, it looks pretty much solid. Um, and yeah, this is that color. This is definitely the most unique color in this drop. And it's definitely probably one of the most unique colors Alphalete has done in a while in terms of amplify because i know that people always complain about how all the shades are just like you know different shades of different things i really don't feel like this is a color that we can say that about it is different to anything that alpha leak currently has um so yeah i know that this will please the people who love an orange who love something really rich it's a very rich color and it's very bright this color is a chameleon in pictures and in stuff like that it can look very dark almost and not bright at all i can promise you in person this is quite bright so it's definitely not the easiest to wear um but yeah this is times square next up we have got central park which is just showing up very 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 dark on camera right now um but it's this really dark green i know that people are going to want to see it with darkest pine but i actually don't have darkest pine so i did evergreen and aura cypress and to me this color is like evergreen and darkest pine had a baby it's basically a darker version of darkest pine it's very much a forest green color like it's forest green it's not as light as for example sage from the last drop it's a lot darker um it's probably one of the most easy to wear out of this drop this it doesn't really have too much mal to it so if you're not a mal fan you might like this color um but yeah that is central park and these are all named after places in new york city and we are moving on to new burgundy which is the clue is in the net it's burgundy and when i took this out i was like this is gonna be like Bordeaux like in my mind this is what Bordeaux looks like but Bordeaux is actually a lot more red this is basically if Sangria and Copper had a baby this is what you would get um but again it is actually different to all the other ones someone asked me the other day if I've got Sangria do I need this the answer is if those are your sorts of like color shades and you really like those shades it is different enough. It's not as brown as Sangria. It's definitely got more red in it. It is a true burgundy. But you know, to like the average person who doesn't like to have like loads of similar-ish shades, probably not worth having both. Um, but again, it's not a dead match for anything that Alpha Elite have done before, but it is in the same sort of family of like Sangria, Copper and those sorts of colours. It's a very, 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 very slight mile and I feel like you really have to look up close to see it. Um, it's pretty much solid with a very slight mile to it. And again, probably one of the easier to pair in this drop. Then we have got Grand Central. When I saw this on the PDF, I was like... <laughs> They just know me so well because you guys know I was in a love affair with hazelnut, then it was linen, then I've really been enjoying sand, which to be fair is a very different colour, but I just love like creamy nudie tones are just right up my street. Chai, again, this is much lighter than chai, but I just love those sorts of colours. So this colour is pretty much the same as linen, like it's a touch darker than linen but they're very, very, very similar colours. In terms of in comparison to hazelnut, hazelnut is a lot more yellow. This is a lot more neutral. Um, it's not a sort of warm tone. This is much more neutral. If linen didn't suit you, this one probably won't either. It's a touch darker, but it's really not that different. And from a distance, I would... Obviously, the fact it's contour, you're going to know the difference, but you would struggle to tell the difference from a distance. Honestly, if you've got linen just from a color point of view you definitely don't need this one however it is in contour so if you like contour maybe you know if you don't want to keep both get rid of linen and buy this one instead um but yeah it's like a neutral creamy 
nude tone um, and also if you want to see what this looks like on a really deeper complexion I did actually do my birthday sale haul with Gabby um, and she put linen on in that so I will leave that linked below for you guys as well because it is pretty much the same colour and in terms of marlene again this one has a slight marl to it but it's not very obvious at all um, but yeah if you look up close enough it does have a marl to it. Moving on you've then got skyscraper which is like I would say this is like a gunmetal grey. It's much more, when you put it next to um, titanium, it pulls a bit more blue. So I thought it was gonna be like charcoal, but then when you put it next to charcoal, charcoal is much more green. It's lighter than colours like smoke, a lot lighter than shadow. It's honestly more similar to the Aura Pewter. So if you like that, you will like this. And obviously they're two different ranges. So they're definitely different enough. This is a true, gray like it definitely has bluish undertones but it's not blue it's a true gray and to be honest out of these sort of shades of gray which i definitely think again if you've got colors like titanium and smoke it's not the same but unless you really love grays you don't need like six different shades of like you know a slight shade difference between the colors having said that this is there's always there's always something missing for me with these sorts of shades of gray when it gets into like the mid to dark grays i'm very like like i can sometimes feel a bit meh about them this color is one of my favorites in this drop i really like this shade of gray i feel like it looks really like clean and really sleek and like metally in a really weird way i don't know i really really like this color and again, in terms of marl, this one is pretty solid. If you look up close, it does have a marl to it, but it's pretty solid. You know, it's not super heathered like powder grey or I'm trying to think of another grey that's really heathered. If you are someone who wants something that's going to go with a lot of things, this would be a good option from this drop. Finally, we have got Manhattan, which is this very warm toned brown, rich brown. This is, in my opinion, what you would get if rich brown and copper had a baby um i don't really like rich brown unpopular opinion but i just find it really hard to wear and i do think i might find this one hard to wear as well but i prefer it a lot it's much richer and it took me a while to work out why i prefer this color but this color is much richer than rich brown like it's a lot more interesting to look at and this one also actually has quite a pretty mile to it especially on the leggings you can really tell it's got a mile to it which is really pretty and sort of unique and rich brown doesn't have that rich, rich brown just looks a little bit like sickly to me i don't know how to explain it but considering like how similar this is to rich brown similar ish but definitely not the same it's a lot warmer and it's a lot richer and it's got a mile to it and it's much more interesting to look at to be honest i definitely prefer this it kind of is neutrals it's quite bright for a brown but it definitely is in neutrals so again it's definitely going to be easier to wear than for example times square basically times square might be quite difficult to um to wear for some of you especially if you don't like brights but those are the colours that are dropping. So we've got six new colours. However, not every single colour is coming in every single item. But the shorts are coming in every single colour. The leggings are coming in every single colour. The XL bras are coming in every single colour and white and black. However, the deep V bras are coming in every single colour and white and black apart from um grand central and times square they are not coming in the deep v bra so in the deep v bra you've got skyscraper central park new burgundy manhattan and white and black but you don't have grand central and times square in the deep v bra so i hope that helps to clear that one up so we'll go over the bras first because we've got two new bra styles dropping and i messed up so bad you guys the e-commerce pictures for this bra this one, the deep V bra, do it no favours. Like all the girls in my Discord were saying it, I felt like it, I felt like it looked so strange on the e-commerce pictures we were given. It just looked really, really wide and really, really, really deep, but like in a really unflattering way and it looked like it did nothing on the chest. It looked so unflattering. So for that, I picked two deep V bras and I got the XL bra in every single colour other than white and black. 
I messed up because I'm going to tell you now, I much prefer the Deep V bra. Um, so yeah, I want to go over the differences very, very quickly first, and then I'll go into the more the details of each bra. So I'm going to show you the differences here now, and then I will pop in some flat lay clips. So with the Deep V bra, the clue is in the name. It's a Deep V, although some of the girls in my Discord said it should be um, a U, because even though it looks like a V when it's off, Although to be fair, it does actually kind of look like a U even when it's off. Um, when it's on, it's like very like scooped. It's not sharp in the middle. It's very sort of scooped. It's like a really booby scoop neck once it's on. So I do get why they've said that. And I would actually probably agree. So shout out to the Discord Queens for being like, that's a U bra. Because it kind of is, but I still, like I said, spoiler alert, I do actually really like it. And then at the top, both of the bras do this thing where the straps from the back sort of come over the front of your shoulders a little bit. This one doesn't do it as bad as the XL bra one does. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see these straps here when it's on from the front. So this one's got a really deep V and much sort of wider cut here. Um, like it doesn't sort of have a shape in, it's very much just sort of slanted up like a true like halter neck bra and this one is a true halter neck bra like it naturally sits halter neck and then at the back this one has forever stitching at the back it also has straps that are basically the exact same as the revival bra which i'll show you in a flat lay clip however the xl bra is a little bit different um the front is sort of similar to the contour bra but not it's actually a bit higher it's got a little bit more sort of coverage um it doesn't dip down quite as much and again it's got a sort of v in the middle so that is different to the contour bra as well the contour bra is scooped it doesn't have a middle sort of pinch in there in the middle but again it's more of a u shape when it's on um with this one you've got much shorter straps like the straps are a lot shorter on this bra do keep that in mind. Side boob coverage is actually really good on this bra. It's just cut a little different to the halter neck, which is sort of like a big triangle. This one, can you see how this one's sort of straight cut and this one's sort of curved, but it's still got good side boob coverage. They both come with removable padding, which you can take in or out. Um, and then this one, the logo isn't in forever stitching. It's actually a sticker on the back of the brow and a little square panel. Also the band around the bottom is half an inch skinnier and it's also a lot snugger in the XL bra. And then the straps at the back are different. They don't fit the same. And this one naturally doesn't sit halter neck. You can pull it to make it halter neck, but naturally it just wants to sit sort of straight over your shoulders. So those are the differences very, very quickly. I will pop in some clips here showing you the differences between the bras in terms of sizing and all that sort of stuff compared to the Revival bra, comparing to the Contour bra, and then we'll come back, we'll regroup, and we'll go over the bra one by one. Okay, I will pop measurements on the screen here, but just to show you, this is the new Deep V bra, and this is the new XL bra. These are both a size extra small. I just wanna show you measurements-wise what the differences are. So the XL bras run shorter, like they are overall shorter. The strap length is shorter as well. Um, you see a lot more of this at the front and they are also tighter through the band. They also have more coverage here. As you can see, this is obviously much thicker than this is. And they also scoop slightly differently under the arm. So this one scoops like this. This one's more of a halter. This one sits more of a halter like naturally. This one you can make a halter but it doesn't quite naturally sit like that. Branding differences, you've got the forever stitching on all the deep V bras. On the XL bras it's actually on a sticker so this is a sticker it's not stitched in. The rival straps work pretty much the exact same whereas this one is a little bit of a different design which you'll see in the try and haul but those are the bras and then compared to the revival bra this is how the revival bra looked it had a much higher neckline like this one's obviously got like a v this one was a much higher neckline it had more coverage um it has a more similar armhole cut underarm cut to the xl bra than the halter bra which is much sort of smoother and i feel like this looks a lot better on me um whereas this one just doesn't flat me as much and this one also had a lot of my side boob out um but yeah that's the revival the new deep v and then the xl bra show you them laid over each other so that you can see these are both an extra small the xl bras are just smaller and they're also much shorter 
like you can see the difference there that's like solidly over an inch in the difference there um so yeah these are both an extra small you know people will want me to compare it to the contour bra so i just want to show you flat lay obviously the new xl bra has more of like a v even though when it's on it looks scooped it doesn't look so v um that is actually a v point on this one whereas the contour is like round the bra is also like very much similar in terms of like coverage although this one does actually come a little bit higher than the contour bra one did by like that much um and this sort of space is very very similar like this height of the bra however the straps are shorter on this one um again they don't come up quite as long so yeah that's the contour bra and then the new xl bra and then in terms of sizing these are both a size small and yeah these are definitely running snugger than the contour bras so we're gonna do the deep v bra first because like i said I prefer it and I've just given you the details of this bra so I'm sure you don't need me to go over them again the only thing to note is on the white one the logo is in black I really don't like that they do black on white bras I wish that they do like a grey or something I know they can't do white because it in seamless like when it's stitched in you really wouldn't be able to tell another thing to note is the bras the XL bras actually came in different packaging to the deep v bras i don't know if that means that they're coming from a different place also the fact that the logo is different makes me think maybe they are but if you got aura from the black friday drop and you got the different packaging you'll know because the sticker on the bag is white it doesn't have the color on for the size whereas the normal packaging does and everything else in this drop did um one of the bras came in that packaging the other one came in the normal in terms of fabric on these bras it's the exact same as the halter neck bras and the contour bras so where the fabric is the exact same as amplify like the bottoms it's not like the amplify bra which is more of a knitted fabric this is the exact same as the leggings so it's that like slick fabric um so that's something to keep in mind it will pill let me show you my contour bra when you have a gym bag over it it will pill this is what happened to my contour bra and it's the exact same fabric um that's from having my gym bag against it so that will also happen to these because they feel the exact same it's the exact same fabric so just be mindful of that and try not to put your gym bag directly on top of it oh i forgot to say as well in terms of sweat proof no it's the same seamless material as amplify so it is going to show sweat so do keep that in mind obviously you got piping all the way around the edges of the bra like completely around the edges of the bra and like i said these straps sort of sit a little bit forward over your shoulders and then you've got a nice crisscross at the back this one's really dirty by the way because i trained legs in it this morning um and then you've got a bottom band that is ribbed um, I wouldn't say this is like super compressive rib. I can size down in this bra, spoiler alert. And this part here is also like super, 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 super skinny. So let's go over sizing first. I got this bra in a small and an extra small. Recently, I've been going small and medium in bras to see if, I, you know, I need to size up. However, I always have noticed recently, especially with the holler bra and the contour bra, I feel like I should be trying small and extra small because everyone always advises to size down and two my mediums literally never fit in seamless so i don't know why i'm still trying so i was like let me do extra small this time because with the halter bras i genuinely think i could have done an extra small still i think i could have got away with an extra small I'll show you the difference between the extra small which is white and skyscraper which is a size small in the deep v bra and i will pop measurements here so you can see what the measurement differences are it's small and extra small and the extra small fits me a lot better like a lot better with the size small i have bagging like under my armpit and also these parts here that come up here are like loose and baggy and like the material like wrinkles if that makes sense so i am 100 percent an extra small in this bra um yeah there's no doubt about it i'm an extra small in this bra and i would strongly advise that you size down in this bra like i said i'm a true size small in bras an extra small is much better in this bra for me especially if you've got a smaller chest 100 size down in this bra the thing that i really want to mention is the padding that alpha elite use in their bras like is awful like actually awful and it's been really really bad with these bras and the halter neck bras in particular so 
these bras are all double lined they have two pieces of fabric right however in the white one like just a full heads up the white one you cannot keep the padding in the middle you can fully see the padding through the bra like you can fully see the whole shebang through the bra you need to take it out and either try it against your skin but as i will have shown you in the clip even when you put it against your skin the alpha leap padding you can still tell it's there because the edges are like janky and it's really like bulky and it's obvious in all the bras like the white one you can see the color of the pads like you can literally see them but in every single bra in this drop i feel like the padding is like really chunky and you can see it like you can see the texture of the pad in the bra so personally i would recommend taking it out and either leaving it out which is what i do i never wear padding with bras anyway because i don't like it or replacing it with a better padding Alpha Leap really need to work on the padding because it's a lot of pads there that are now just not going to get used because they're really shit. So I wish Alpha Leap would work on some better padding for the bras because a lot of people really love padding. And even though I don't care, I always take it out. I know how important it is for some people. So I don't want them to get rid of padding full stop, but they need to work on the padding because I cannot wear the padding in any of these bras because you can lit even in the darker colours, you can literally see the texture of the pad like it just looks so ch chunky and clunky so that's something to note yeah i know that i'm going to be asked about the sheerness in the white it's not awful but it depends on the lighting so once you've taken the pads out in certain lighting i feel like you really can see a bit too much detail for my nipple it's not like you can see the stark color but you can really just see a bit too much detail it's not like oh she's nipping it's like whoa Ariola has entered the chat like it's a little bit much in the white so i think i'm going to use nippies um which are basically like heat adhesive they're not sticky they're reusable i really recommend them i'll try and link them below um they basically work with sweat and even like the sweatier you get and the wetter you get they don't come off like i've worn them on nights out i've worn them with like latex dresses they do not move they stay in place i've woken up with like whoa where have my nipples gone and they're just covered with the nippies in terms of the like straps and the strap length on these i find the straps to be longer on this bra than the other bra but not in a bad way this is really really comfortable i wore this to training this morning and then i had it on for a few more hours in an extra small which is a size down and it didn't dig into my traps especially with it being a halter it didn't dig into my traps it wasn't uncomfortable like it's not uncomfortable at all and the straps at the back have still got like a good amount of bounce to them so it's honestly not bad even when you size down it's not uncomfortable and the bottom band again is also not uncomfortable it's got a lot of stretch to it so you can definitely get away with sizing down and i am someone who has a little bit of a wider back and i can get away with sizing down so honestly you will be completely fine in terms of support on these alpha leet are saying low to medium i'm gonna say low maybe medium if you've got like small boobs or fake boobs i think i could probably get away with saying it's a medium in an extra small but definitely for like naturally big boobs this is not going to give you any support whatsoever this is a low support bra especially because like small boobs don't need support i feel like saying medium support when it only really applies to small boobs doesn't make that much sense it's a low support bra like with a seamless bra anyway because they've got so much stretch and so much give unless you're using a very compressive and supportive underband you're not going to get high support um so yeah it's like a low support bra in my opinion i would do weights in this completely fine and i did do weights in this completely fine i actually have gym footage um, that I'm going to put in when I go over the bottoms of me training in this bra today and also a pair, pair of the shorts. I know I'm going to be asked because this is very booby, it's very low cut. I think if you've got naturally big boobs, like very blessed boobs, I don't think this bra is going to work for you. I think you're going to feel quite self-conscious and as though you could fall out of it when you're training in it. For like less cardio you might be fine but for anything where you're going to be bending over you might feel uncomfortable weirdly it's also going to depend where your nipples sit my nipples sit in 20 different directions depending on how i've put my top on so 
take from that what you will i always have to rearrange my nipples but i can rearrange my nipples to be safe in this bra and i didn't feel like i was going to have a nip slip i did rdls and i was completely fine i didn't have to readjust the bra and i'm shocked about that because it's very wide and very low but for me it was fine again i've got implants so please take what i'm saying with a grain of salt seen this on smaller chests now and at first i thought this will not look on good on small chests because it's very sort of it looks wide when you take it out of the bag but i take back what i said because the small chest girlies look good and especially with sizing down it gives you a bit of like push and a bit of oomph i really 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 like this bra if you've got naturally very 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 blessed boobs 100 percent skip on this bra i don't think it's gonna work but if you've got a similar size to me you've got implants or you're smaller chested i think you will absolutely love this bra and i would definitely recommend it unpopular opinion and i know it's going to be unpopular because it's got a bit more coverage than the halter neck bra but i prefer this to the halter neck bra it does more for my boobs it's much more flattering on my boobs and i still get that sort of like minimal look without feeling like very unsupported because it's got straps going across the back um i genuinely do i'm not just saying that i genuinely do prefer this to the halter neck bra so take from that what you will but i really love this bra to round up low support um size down even if you're not between sizes i would 100 recommend that you size down in this bra you are highly likely going to need to put your own padding in if you get in the white it is a little bit sheer and be careful with gym bags because of the fabric but yeah that is the deep v bra and out of the two definitely my favorite bra in this drop and i'm kicking myself that i didn't get more of these it's so flattering on the chest like I was saying to my Discord girls earlier, genuinely, might just cut my implants out, sell them on the black market. As Joanne said, there will be some weirdo that will 100% buy them and probably pay, pay a pretty penny. I can save that money. Just use these bras instead because I'm telling you, like, even on small chest, it's really giving the girls an oomph. It's one of the most flattering. I think this is more flattering than the contour bra for the chest. I really, really like this bra a lot and I thought I was going to hate it just being honest i thought it was gonna be really fucking ugly it's not it's cute i like her moving on to the excel bra then which i don't hate but it's definitely not my favorite of the two and i would probably pick like the halter bra and the contour bra even over this bra so let's get into the details obviously i've already gone over them pretty much but this one isn't a halter neck bra it's very much um sits sort of straight over your shoulders it does have a bit of a v in the middle but when you put it on it rounds out to a very similar to the deep v in that way obviously this has got a lot more coverage here um and just a lot more coverage it's not as widely cut it's still got really really good side boob coverage which i'm happy about because the revival bra oh my god like the whole of the side of my tit is out in like the updated fit, fit of that so i'm glad that they don't seem to be doing that anymore and they're doing some better bras but obviously this is lower cut than the revival bra in the front um, and then at the back you've obviously got the sticker logo i'm not a huge fan of that i wish that they'd done um the stitched in one i'd rather have that than the sticker or just something more subtle like a little baby wolf i really like the little wolf logo and then the straps at the back are not the same as the revival bra um so they're different to the deep v bra and they sort of come like hello they sort of come like da straight down and then these ones cross over um and again from the front you do get a little bit of the strap showing at the front i find with this bra that these straps roll over each other an awful lot more um and weirdly i actually think this bra looks better when these two straps are sort of pinned together i feel like i would have preferred this bra if it was one strap and then it went into straps over the back um because they just roll together anyway on this bra i don't know why same padding issue as the bra i've just gone over so keep that in mind but i take padding out of all my bras and the fabric and stuff again it's double lined and it's the exact same as the deep v so you're gonna have the same issue with the white bra so keep that in mind yeah in terms of sizing i got this in a small and an extra small as you will have seen in the comparisons this bra overall runs like an inch smaller than the deep v bra so i am a size small in this bra and for like my sort of chest size i would definitely stay to trade stay put 
I would definitely say to stay true to size. I don't think you need to size down in this bra. Extra small XL bra in Manhattan, the brown, and then Times Square is a size small, just to show you. So you get a little bit of extra room and also a little bit of extra length here, but only a tiny amount. And I will pop the measurements on the screen for you. These are all a size small, just to show you. There is like slight differences between colors, but I think this would be like within tolerance to be honest it looks like about half an inch difference on some of them um yeah but there's always discrepancies so i don't want to say like oh yeah the nude color and the green are running tighter i think i've just got two smaller smalls and then two slightly bigger smalls but just to show you that it can always be especially with seamless some discrepancies between colorways it's too tight on me in the extra small i don't like it um so definitely true to size for me for this bra i think people with smaller chests are probably still gonna size down in this bra everyone seems to like the itty bitty titty committee seems to love a size down in a seamless bra but do be aware these run like overall pretty much everywhere an inch smaller than the other ones Something else to note is these have a lot shorter straps. So this sort of area here is a lot shorter on this bra by about an inch, I believe. Um, it's about an inch shorter. So I find that this isn't as comfortable on me. I wore my Times Square size small for like five hours yesterday and it was quite uncomfortable. I don't know, like, like the straps have still got like give to them but these ones don't feel like they have as much give they feel a bit more tense like if i show you up close like there isn't much give on these straps they just don't feel as comfortable now it's not as bad as something like the wonder bra or something like that but it's not as comfortable on me maybe i need a medium i don't know but then i do think it'd probably be a little bit loosey goosey um so i would stay true to size but i don't find it as comfortable as the deep v bra and i think that's because it has short straps so if you are someone who doesn't like having longer straps and you've got really like short shoulders or something you'll probably prefer this one but if you are someone who tends to get trap pain from bras or find things uncomfortable i would go with the other bra personally i just find that with this sitting straight over my shoulders it just sits a little funky on me and another thing is the band is definitely more compressive on this one and also even flat lay i feel like you can see even flat lay the bra on this one it hikes in the back now i don't know if it's my chest because i didn't learn whilst i was away that because of my implants sometimes a bra can hike at the back because of my implants um so i don't know if it's my implants causing it but the other bra doesn't do that this one hikes up at the back like it doesn't stay flat all the way around it's hiking at the back and it looks really unflattering i also just don't find the way that these straps sit on my back as flattering as the other ones i think because the other ones are so sort like this it sort of helps to accentuate the hourglass sort of physique whereas with this one with these two straps here coming sort of straight down over i feel like it just makes my back look a bit wider and of course with it having the four straps you've got um a lot more like attachment points which you can see if you look up close as well again like i said i'm also not a fan of the sticker logo so for me i definitely do prefer the deep v bra for pretty much all those reasons it is still really flattering on the chest and it is still definitely a more minimal bra like you'll see the sort of um boob space is very similar to the contour bra so if that bra didn't work for you this one will not work for you either if it did work for you this one will probably work for you as well but do be aware even compared to the contour the straps are shorter on this one so it does sort of sit a little like higher up almost um and yeah i just don't find it as comfortable personally fabric is the same i just find the other one a lot more flattering in terms of support again alphalete are saying this is low to medium i would say this is definitely a bit more supportive this is definitely giving more low to medium than the other one is but i would still say it's definitely on the low side definitely more low to medium than the other one yeah they seem to be making a lot more like minimal bras at the moment which is obviously great for the itty bitty titty committee but i would love to see alpha Leap do like a proper like lab tested really supportive sports bra because they just don't really do that many like big titty committee friendly bras so yeah i would love to see a bit a bit more inclusion there from alpha Leap because we really don't have a high support bra at alpha Leap. like 
we really really don't and i don't doubt that that is going to get fixed because of the team that is now in charge of that sort of stuff but yeah i'm excited to, for i'm excited to be able to report that there are some like medium to high or even high support bras um and some of those might start coming in next year who knows summarize the xl bra not my favorite i do prefer the deep v bra sizing wise stay true to size or size down if you are particularly small in the chest but it's definitely not like the deep v where i would say size down full stop um it does run about an inch smaller um a bit more coverage than the deep v bra the straps are different it's just not my personal cup of tea if you like it you like it and if you want a bit more coverage you will definitely prefer this bra i just prefer the other one it's just giving a little bit more and i wasn't expecting that and you can literally tell like you can quite frankly tell by the fact that i picked the other bra up in every single color i was like there's no way the deep v bra is going to look good i was like i'll get an extra small and a small just for comparisons but the xl bra is going to be better and for me it's not i prefer the deep v so yeah oops okay it's time to go over the bottoms like i said i will leave my full first contour review link down below with timestamps for everywhere you need to go um but yeah we've got the five inch shorts again and we've got the leggings there are no longer shorts in contour and this is something i wanted to mention if you are a fan of alpha Lee contour i have something to tell you which may influence your buying decision but i would rather you guys know if you really like this stuff um especially if you're gonna wait until black friday i'm not 100 percent sure on this one thing i can tell you for certain is i don't think well i know there will not be any more contour amplify from april onwards um i know that there won't be any contour amplify from april onwards however i do believe i was told that this is the last drop of contour amplify there could be another one because i've seen certain colors and maybe they've just scrapped them and they're not coming anymore but i have seen certain colors that were meant to be for spring there could be one more drop but i was told this is the last drop of contour so if you like it stock up on it and also if you like it anyway and you're thinking oh maybe they'll do better contour fall colors next year there won't be contour next fall. So keep that in mind because the colours I saw for spring are the complete opposite to this. They're not similar, different to this. So even if there is another contour drop, it's not like this. You don't need to worry about, I'm gonna end up with seven different shades of nude or 18 different shades of brown or 30 different shades of blue with the contour because girly pops limited. Um, yes, I have, however, I would like to point out contour leggings are not my favourite but I love the shorts and I do know that the main features that people absolutely love is first of all, the band on the shorts. It's a little bit thicker than the normal Amplify. So I vouch for that and I've also vouched for the glute contouring because I really like it and I know that you guys really like it as well. But quite frankly, down with the fucking waffle, okay? So as I was saying, in this drop, you've got shorts and you've got leggings. The shorts are just coming in five inch. The leggings are just the normal leggings and they are all coming in every single color. So the shorts are coming in every single color. The leggings are coming in every single color and there is no black in this drop. So in the shorts, I got Times Square, size small. Grand Central, size small. Central Park, size small. New Burgundy, size medium. Because for shorts, I tend to go between a small and a medium. And then for my leggings, I got Manhattan in a size small. Times Square, size small. Scraper, I got in a size extra small. Because with leggings, I tend to be, there are small or an extra small i'm never a medium in the leggings but in the shorts i always tend to find that the shorts run tighter than the leggings do let me actually just show you what i mean for for an example because i haven't actually shown you but for example let me show you so in the back you've got a size small legging and in the front you've got a five inch short size small short um and i find that across all the amplify typically bikers run like the biggest in the waist then um well they do now anyway when they've been doing bikers recently then the leggings then the 4.5 or the 5 inch shorts tend to be the most snug so yeah so i go between small and medium usually for amplify shorts extra small and small for the leggings and in like all the og amplify i'm a size extra small in the leggings and they're really really comfortable another thing to note before i start going over the shorts and the leggings is my 
uh, preferences. I just want to line it out. I like compression, but I don't like to look like a busted kind of biscuits. And for me, I'm like narrow in the waist, but my waist and my midsection isn't shredded. I'm not super, 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 super lean in that section, which means someone might have the same measurements. But for me, if I'm trying to do the same size, I'm going to have the softness spilling out over, whereas they might not. Um, so that's why I don't like a super, super, super snug fit because Amplify can really... Honestly, if you get the wrong size in Amplify, it can honestly make you look a way that you don't look and not in a good way. So I like to make sure that I'm not getting sizes that are too small for me. Like, for example, if I got an extra small in the five inch shorts, I look like a busted kind of biscuits like i said it doesn't it's not cute it's really 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 not cute but i'll run you through the details of the shorts first um because i'm going to do shorts first and then i will do leggings so on the shorts we have got the three tier waistband if you're new to amplify it moves lower compression medium compression high compression the idea being that you go like and you like shape upwards like that. Um, and then the front is super, super plain. There is no front seam. Um, the rise on these is the new updated rise, but a little bit higher. So I find the updated rise, generally it's eight inches. Sometimes it's eight and a half. A lot of them are eight inches, especially the first updated fit drop. All my contour stuff pretty much other than leggings they seem to tend to sit lower and I don't know why, is like eight and a half inches. I find these a little bit higher um, than the updated fit, um, which isn't a problem because I've got a long torso and I like my belly button being covered. Um, but yeah, and then on the side, in fact, let me not show you this on this colour because you actually can't see. And then on the side, you've got this line. And on the side, you've got this print panel, which on the inside is like this. So you need to be careful with like, nails and stuff because you can snag this when you're putting it on but it's not the mesh jacquard that is on the um amplify shorts and this runs sort of curves forward a little bit and then comes down and then attached to that you have got a rib line here to separate and then you start with the glute contour so this is this like rib part here you see this ribbing and it's slightly raised like if i go from the normal pant up to here it's slightly raised but it's not compressive so it, it's not like lazuli or something like that where it compresses you in and lifts your butt up but it does really help to sort of shape your glutes quite nicely it doesn't run however it doesn't run all the way along the bottom it stops sort of like a quarter of the way or maybe like a third of the way into your glutes and that goes right down into the bottom seam which is like half an inch thicker than the normal amplify bottom and then of course you've got the iconic scrunch bum at the back and this is like the um shorter rise at the back they're like seven sort of inches i'll pop measurements in when i'm going over things properly but yeah the new shorter scrunch and measurements but there is a lot more discrepancies with the scrunch this time which i will go over when i've gone over you know the shorts and the leggings and then you've got a five inch inseam so in terms of camel toe on these you can get a little bit of a camel toe um it's not too bad i tend to get more barbie crotch more than anything with my contour stuff but you can get a little bit of a camel toe personally i find that wearing seamless underwear always makes things look worse so i would recommend things like g-strings or like that jiv active wear like camel toe proof underwear that could help as well um with the fabric being a little bit on the like thinner side you definitely can get a little bit of a hoof coming on but i don't have like a huge issue with that i also don't find that like the gusset comes too far forward on these it's pretty much okay in terms of sweat proof i know everyone says that amplify material is sweat wicking and it is meant to be however the fabric on these is like the last v2 drop so it's like the super soft like fluffy like spongy almost feel fabric where you know like if you bought the last contour drop you'll know what i mean you can leave like fingerprints on it that look almost shiny it's so weird like it's so strange but that's sort of what happens it's like velvety it's very 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 strange i've never had that with other amplify until the contour and then it happened with the contour and then it happened with the last amplify drop as well i don't know if it's like where my finger is picking up on like the fluffy texture of it they're not sweat proof which they're not sweat proof anyway but i really don't find this fabric dries quick at all like it's very 
sort of insulate in because it's fluffy it doesn't dry quick at all and when i go for a wee in the gym when i've like sweated all over my crotch because i'm a sweaty girl okay i'm a sweaty lady it's sort of it's like it's like just a damp hammock for my legs and buttocks that i'm pulling back up and it's just not the best to be honest i wish that it was a lot more sweat wicking like it used to be and then in terms of squat proofness i will pop all my squat tests in here um but just to explain really quickly because i've changed it for this video basically i wanted to be able to get this done a little bit quicker not rush it but i wanted to be able to get it done a little bit quicker and essentially when i was in turkey we didn't have anything to like use for squat tests on like fabrics of stuff. So Melissa actually handed me a tea bag. So that was her genius idea. So for my squat test, I've literally got a tea bag here. I used this tea bag instead of using the black brief just because it's quicker because then I can do it all in one go and I'm not having to take them off, switch my underwear and then do it again. Um, so we've now got like three gradings. So we've got nude thong and i will label which one's which we've got just nude thong we've got with this in and then i've also done it where i've got the tea bag in but i've pulled up the fabric to sort of give you an idea of what might happen if you size down because with sizing if you size down in amplify the sheerness is going to be a lot worse um and yeah the reason why i was doing the black brief and the reason why i do this is because one people with tattoos two people with like different skin tones obviously no one's purple but it's a much deeper <laughs> color than the color of my skin she's caucasian she's white and thirdly honestly i was getting tired of people telling me on my reviews that my what i thought was sheerness was just sheen which yeah amplify can be sheeny and all this amplify is quite sheeny it's got a bit of a shine to it but I know when something's my skin, so I did that to basically stop people saying that it's sheen when I know it's my skin. Um, so yeah, we've got the tea bag test. Let me know what you think of this. If you prefer the black brief, I'll go back to it. But this was easier and it was quicker, so let me know if it's helpful. Um, but yeah, shout out to Melissa, um, product developer at Alphalete, for this idea. But for me, all the colours in the shorts on a leg day i would wear completely fine i do think with grand central because it is pretty sheer i do think if you've got a deeper skin tone you might want to be a little bit careful with this one i just feel like it is very very sheer and i do think a lot of the reason why i can get away with it is because of my skin tone because i'm obviously a lot lighter um but with the other ones they're a little bit sheer but it's nothing to the point where i wouldn't wear them on leg day and as you're going to see in this video I trained in Times Square in my gym today. I did RDLs and stuff and in my gym's lighting, it's completely fine. So personally, I would actually train in all of these in the shorts, in the shorts. The leggings is a very different story. Um, but yeah, none of, the, none of them are 100% squat proof and it's gonna massively depend on your sizing. Of course, if you're sizing down, it will be a lot worse um but yeah i've been finding ever since i've not been going like extra small in shorts the sheerness isn't as bad and going up to a medium definitely helps as well and shorts always do better than leggings in terms of <laughs> yeah in terms of the leggings the manhattan color i would absolutely not wear on a leg day or anything where i'm doing anything bent over like these are just too sheer on me even in a size small so i'm not sizing down for me these are too sheer they're very sheeny you can like see my thigh in these when i like sit down the same with skyscraper you can literally see my thigh through them when i sit down so yeah definitely a pass for me for anything where i'm bending over erin's only sort of legging or like this cardio i wouldn't want to be squatting or doing anything bent over in these personally i just wouldn't it's too too it looks it looks like i've got brown tights on um, the exact same with skyscraper but again please keep in mind these are an extra small so the the stretching and stuff is a lot worse in these in a size small it might not be as bad but they feel very similar to the, my manhattan so i do think i'd have similar issues and for that reason i'd probably keep this to a day where i'm not doing anything bent over no bendy wendy um sort of like list cardio or errands and obviously it's a very good errands color and then times square in the leggings was actually completely fine on me however i do want to make it very clear my size small is basically a medium like to spec 
it's a medium so keep that in mind i don't know if that's playing a role um because it does fit big this is completely fine i would actually wear this on a leg day or anything it's i have no issues with it but this is very much giving medium in terms of sizing. So I think that's the only reason why. Yeah, squat proofness is highly individual. It will massively depend on if you're sizing down or not, your skin tone, the bigger the contrast between your skin tone and the color, the worse the squat proofness is gonna be. So for example, someone with deeper skin tones might get on better with colors like New Burgundy. Um, Manhattan might be fine on those people. Central Park would be a lot better. However, people with lighter skin tones are gonna struggle a bit more with those darker shades so just keep that in mind and in terms of stand-up proof they're all stand-up proof other than grand central i did wear this with a black thong yesterday and you could see it like from the front so do be aware of that nude underwear only but you can't really see it when it's nude underwear unless i really pull at the fabric which i'm not going to be doing anyway so yeah the shorts i would train in all of them the leggings none other than times square however like i said they fit more like a medium i'm gonna pop in some clips here comparing these two um comparing the shorts to the last contour drop so that you can see in terms of like sizing and all that sort of stuff how these are running and sort of um in terms of like rise and all that good stuff so you can see that there to show you all my shorts lined up so central park times square um and grand central are all a size small so these three are a size small and then my new burgundy are a size medium so my grand central are about i'll put the measurements here so you can see but my grand central ones are 9.25 inches on the waist so they're actually more like an extra small to spec I believe an extra small is nine inches a small should be 10 these two are on spec and my size medium just under 10 and a half inches so that's actually a little bit small for a medium to spec because that should be 11 inches and they've got like a half inch tolerance and with it being just under 10.5 it's technically a little small um but yeah these two colors for me are the most like true to size this one's running tight and i say for a medium this is a little bit small for a medium but obviously it fits me well because i go between a small and a medium but i am a size small um but yeah these are the shorts show you compared to the last contour drop again my grand central are running really tight these are both a size small whereas my times square size small shorts look pretty normal um yeah my sand ones are a little bit bigger but this is probably just them stretching out a little bit from where um yeah the, the grand central ones are pretty small to show you my new burgundy medium shorts to my pewter medium shorts again you can see that these are just they fit more similar to like a slightly bigger small than they do a medium in my opinion but again this could just be a fluke i'm just showing in case anyone else has inconsistencies with theirs girl I do too. just want to show you as well that like the fit is the exact same as the last contour drop. The rise and stuff, everything is the same. And I will pop measurements and stuff on the screen so you can see the numbers. But it is the exact same. So it's the new updated fit. And the scrunch is also the exact same. Like the exact same as the contour drop. So they still both have the new shorter scrunch on them. Five inch inseam, it's all the same. Did also get asked, which I didn't do a flat lay clip for, so I'm just gonna do it now, to compare these to the Black Friday Alpha Leap drop in terms of sizing. So I'm gonna compare my medium, ah, my medium sage shorts to my medium border, medium border. So this is my medium sage um, from the Black Friday drop compared to my medium contour in New Burgundy. They're very, very, very similar. A tiny little bit more snug, but very, very, very similar. There isn't really a difference there. The reason why I'm not doing still water is because mine came in like really small, like an inch smaller than they should have been. Um, and they were really, really stiff and tight. So that's the reason why I'm not doing my still water. But as you can see, my small central park and my small dove are pretty much the exact same. Like there really isn't a difference there. You, however, want to know, which you'll have already seen and I've hinted at when I've compared sizing and stuff and comparing to the contour drop. Um, this is my Grand Central size small compared to my dove size small. My Grand Central reminds me in terms of like how 
small it is um it's definitely stretchier than my still water but in terms of like like small it is like flat lane how small it feels on my body it does remind me of still water to be honest it's just not as stiff it's got more stretch to it um so yeah that's just something to be aware of my grand central came in really small in my shorts don't know why um but yeah it's like almost like an extra small in terms of the measurements i think it is actually pretty much an extra small in terms of measurements so sizing wise for these like i said i got smalls and i got a medium um like i mentioned my grand central came in running really really small but i just want to disclaim so quickly amplify is inherently inconsistent like seamless is hard to get consistent anyway but alpha elite seemed to really really struggle and have struggled for a while Honestly, especially with my leggings, it's probably one of the most inconsistent drops I've had in a while of Amplify for me, for sizing. Um, <clears throat> I've just got a really inconsistent batch of them. So when I'm talking about colours and I'm saying mine are small, I mean mine. I don't want to, I, I can't sit and lie and say that they're all the same because they're not. But I'm also not saying this colour is inherently small because fabric wise you could get something that feels different fit wise you could get something that's measuring bigger or smaller um i literally know people who have ordered two mediums and they've come looking like an inch difference in the waist so please take everything i say everything anyone says about different colors and stuff with a pinch of salt but the girls want the details and so i'm going to give it to them my central park and my times square came in like a bang on small like measurements wise they're a small and i'm really really happy with them to be honest they're not overly snug on me they fit me really really nicely and i'm happy with a size small in these i was happy with a size small in the last contour drop um the medium honestly again as you'll have seen there really isn't much difference between a small and a medium so the medium fits me quite well as well and i don't notice a ton of extra fabric either there really isn't much difference between these two smalls and this medium now this small and a medium there is a big difference but i'm going with the majority and these two smalls there isn't a big difference between these and the medium so in the burgundy i can definitely do a medium as well it doesn't matter but i do think across the board smalls work completely fine for me so yeah i don't know if maybe new burgundy is just running a little bit snugger so maybe i should be a medium in this but these two are completely fine in a size small and the sizing and stuff is so similar to the last contour drop. Whatever size worked in the last contour drop or even the last amplified drop for the shorts anyway, I would recommend going with the same size again. Now I did get asked about this band pinching. Um, someone asked me if it was any looser than the last drop. It's not looser than the last drop. If anything, the bottom band is actually a tiny little bit tighter, like a tiny little bit tighter. So yeah the bottom band is a little bit more snug it doesn't cut into me but these do roll and these roll quite badly like even small medium it doesn't matter these do roll on me um even though they're a five inch inseam like when i went to the gym today i tried to pull them down but they just kept coming back up as i move around so they don't roll up to be quite as short as how the 4.5 ones do but they still do roll up sizing up can help a tiny bit but if you've got quads girly pop they're just gonna roll so do keep that in mind these do roll but honestly when they roll it makes the glutes look really 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 good anyway so i'm not super mad at it but it is a little bit bulky looking at the front when it rolls it just makes the glutes look really good but it does look a little bit funky from the front it's quite thick especially because of how thick this band is when it like rolls up it's quite thick looking so these do roll and the bottom band is the exact same as last time so if you had issues with it last time you will have issues with it again yeah in terms of the rise these fit me very 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 similar to the last contour drop which i also found last time the shorts hit me a bit higher than the leggings and they actually measure a little bit longer in the front rise than the leggings and the same thing happened with this drop and keep that in mind the leggings tend to sit a little bit lower than the shorts do but with the shorts i can cover my belly button um, they do naturally want to sit about mid belly button height on me but because this amplifies so stretchy i can pull it up no problem and it's really not an issue it's not like for example my still water size small 4.5 shorts my belly button is like out and it's really hard to like keep it covered these sit about half an inch higher um than those shorts did on me so these are somewhere between the updated fit and the old fit but they're definitely more similar to the updated fit than the old because that was a lot higher 
let's get into fabric i'm gonna pop in my punch free test here the fabric is literally like the last v2 drop so where it's basically like tight super like thin super soft one second super thin super soft literally like tights it's like the last v2 drop to be honest my last um standard amplify drop was like this other than my still water which was a lot stiffer um but yeah all of these are quite literally like tights they're super super thin super stretchy um that skyscraper the first one was grand central i've just realized i didn't say the names this is manhattan again they're all pretty much the same as well in terms of like how sort of thin they feel not none of them really feel any thicker this one is times square um i would just say that my new burgundy and my central park feel slightly less fluffy but they're also still incredibly thin like they literally are like tights and when you're putting them on your body it feels like you're putting tights on or pantyhose if you are american because i know that americans just call leggings tights um i think anyway but yeah but if i had to pick i'd say new burgundy's like the thickest but she's still not thick she's still thin um but yeah that is my punchery test yeah so that's obviously not a replacement for squat test or anything like that it's just to show you how thin the fabric is and this fabric is honestly it's the exact same as the last time for me they feel the same the only two colors that feel slightly less fluffy are my central park and my new burgundy these ones feel a tiny bit less fluffy um but it's not like my still water which was like stiff and like a little bit closer to the og to be honest um it's not like that it's just a tiny little bit softer and a tiny little bit less fluffy but i still think this fabric will pill this fabric is the super like soft stretchy honestly when you're putting the leggings on in particular it feels like tights like it feels like you're about to put tights on your body like that is how it feels when when you put these on if you've never bought amplify before that's how this feels and i said this when the contour came out to me this fabric isn't anything new it just reminds me of a really soft fluffy silky feel batch of amplify which has been happening for like months like my rich brown my chocolate were like that like tights like a fluffy like low denier tight that is literally how a lot of my amplify has been for a while so for me personally it's nothing new but they are incredibly stretchy incredibly soft and as a result incredibly delicate now something i do want to know which i have noticed and this is why i wish we got these pieces for a little bit longer is when i was pulling out my contour to like compare obviously i've worn my sand shorts to death because i'm obsessed with the color sand however however when i felt that i was like oh this doesn't feel as soft as i remember but then when i felt my mocha when i felt my clay my pewter the colors that i haven't worn as much so i haven't washed as much they felt the exact same as this like silky fluffy soft so i personally believe with amplify contour other amplifiers because these do feel like how like the last amplify drop felt as well for me like they leave the fingerprints like sage did like you could literally see it in my haul it leaves like fingerprint marks it's like shiny silky personally believe that they are not using the same fabric that they were using to make the og and i don't think they've been using the same fabric for a while if you want my honest opinion i don't think they've used it since the 2021 birthday sale drop i noticed changes from june onwards and it's never been the same since like there's been the odd color that's been okay but it's never been the same since um and i personally don't feel like they're using the same stuff that they were using before fabric wise but also something that i did learn when i was away was about silicone washes i think these have got a very intense silicone wash on them now what happens when you put a silicone wash on something is it does actually impact the yarn that's being used as well um it makes it a bit more delicate it makes it a little bit more it makes it a lot softer to touch and it gives it that really soft silky feel but it does make it a lot more delicate and it does make it a lot more prone to things like pilling and snagging it might feel really like nice and soft but get a little bit more delicate because the oil in the silicone breaks down um like the structures of the yarn however like i said 
my sand that I've washed a lot don't feel like that anymore. They don't feel like they did when I got them. So I do think when you wash these, that feel does come off a little bit and they do become a little bit tougher and actually a little bit more compressive as well as that wash comes off, which I'm not mad at. I honestly really don't mind it, but just something to be aware of. I do think the same thing will happen again, um, where it sort of washes off after a few washes in the washing machine. I just wanted to mention that, but like out of the packet, they are the like silky, fluffy, spongy feeling fabric. And with that being said, roll the tape. We're gonna roll the tape now of me in the gym in my timeless shorts, not my timeless shorts, in my Times Square, not my timeless shorts, wrong brand girl, wrong brand baby girl. I firmly believe, okay, I firmly believe in a performance legging, you should be able to sit on the gym floor. Unpopular opinion, I re and I can sit on the gym floor in my OGs. I'm not saying I could scooch me cooch across the turf. I'm not saying I could drag myself across the turf in my OGs with no repercussions or like sandpaper myself against the floor. I'm not saying they were pill proof. I'm just saying they didn't pill quite as easily as this. So roll the tapes and I will Okay, here are my happened. road testing clips for the deep V bra and the shorts in Times Square. So I did hip thrust first and straight away when you sit down, I feel like you can tell even on this clip, like the shorts have rolled already. They do roll quickly. Like some people complain that I roll my shorts up all the time. The shorts just roll up, like I can't help it. And this happens even in a medium. Um, so yeah, sizing up, it helps a bit, but it's still not perfect. So this was how they looked when I went to go do RDLs after. Um, and then this is me pulling them down. We're resetting, we're starting again. This is how they look fully pulled down. But you can tell even like when I walk the bar back in that second, it's rolled. And I personally believe, because when I was away, I tried two shorts, the exact same short, the exact same inseam, exact same style, but one of them had fabric similar to this, really slippy, really soft, really silky, and the other one was more sturdy, like the OG sort of fabric sort of feel, and the OG one stayed in place a little bit better, the other ones, half my ass was out, like the bottom of my ass cheeks was literally out, so yeah, um, I definitely think it's a combination of the length, but also the fabric as well, um, because even the newer bikers roll a lot more. I know they're a bit shorter, but I do think it's the fabric as well. Um, and yeah, this was then my second set of RDLs. I didn't readjust. And this is sort of how the shortest they roll up to, basically. This is how they will look throughout your workout, essentially, unless you rejig them. Um, there's no avoiding it. So then I reset them to go and do lunges reset reset um and then between legs i sat down and you'll see when i go to do the other leg that um they've they've rolled again and by this point i'd already pilled them from sitting on the floor for hip thrusts but sitting on the turf definitely added to it as well so definitely do not sit on your gym's floor or on turf or on any non-smooth surface because as you will see um oh god they make the glutes look good as you will see the rolling is like this but the pilling she's got a hairy booty like that is bad for one wear so so yeah now one thing to note is snagging as well i have snagged my Times square shorts but that was my ring when i was doing my punch through test so loki ignore that a little bit but also i've snagged some of the waffle parts as well like on the bottom of my manhattan leggings I've snagged that as well. I've also made another little snag there. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see where I've made a little snag there? Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. I've snagged like the ribbed part of the leg, Manhattan legging. I've snagged that as well. So it's very light snaggable because it's very, very soft. Um, and then in terms of pilling, this had already happened to be fair just from sitting on the floor it happened before i got onto the turf but you can hopefully you can see if you can't see i'm gonna grab a picture and put it in over because my ring light sort of blows things out but girly pop looks like she's got a hairy booty like it's pilled just as bad as my sand did the first time i wore them so this will pill very easily it's very delicate please be careful 
No gym bags brushing against this fabric. No rough terry pump covers over this fabric. It will brush against the fabric and it will pill it. No sitting on the turf. Wouldn't recommend sitting on the turf. Wouldn't recommend doing turf workouts in general in Amplify now. It's way too delicate for it. Um, and no sitting on the gym floor to do hip thrust. You need to have a mat underneath you. I wouldn't recommend sitting on the floor between sets either. I know that some people find that a really strange concept. I don't know if it's a UK thing, but like... There isn't always a bench to sit on. Sometimes you've just got a raw dog on the floor. But yeah, they are incredibly, incredibly delicate. Now, for some people, they love the super soft fabric. And if you loved the last contour drop and how it felt, you will love this again. It's just not my personal favorite. It's not durable. It doesn't stay looking very fresh for long. Yes, you can fabric shave it, but that's not really the point. You know, it's not really the point. You shouldn't have to be doing that with like a 54 pound pair of leggings that are meant to be performance leggings. These are not marketed as like low performance leggings. These are like their hammer, balls to the wall, all that sort of stuff. This is their legging for that. It's their performance legging. So for me personally, it just doesn't make sense to have such a delicate fabric on a performance legging. I know some people love it. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I'm not the biggest fan of the fabric and I don't think it feels, it feels really nice to touch. It's really soft, it's really stretchy, but it's not durable and like cosy lives babes. Do you know what I mean? Like 54 pound for a pair of leggings that isn't gonna stay looking brand new for long. I don't know, I just, I don't feel like, I don't feel like whatever they're using for Amplify now is what should be being used for that price point personally and again it's personal preference because some people prefer this fabric to the sturdier one i just prefer the sturdier one it's more durable and also it really lifts your glutes a lot better like the shorts actually do a really good job because of that bottom band but it really lifts your glutes a lot better when it's a bit more compressive you know it just sits on them a little bit better so yeah I'm like a little bit pissed about the fabric. And look, I'm not saying I expect my shit to be bulletproof. Like I said, I'm not saying I need to scooch my cooch all across the turf, like a little snail going up and down. I'm not saying I, you know, it's my God given right to be able to do that in these leggings, but like for a performance legging, it shouldn't be so easy to pill, like a gym bag brushing against it that doesn't have Velcro on it. Why is that pilling my legging, please? Why? And then when it gets dirty, like all the dirt gets stuck in the pilling and it looks really, really bad. That happened with my utility grey leggings. That was not a good time. Um, but yeah, those are my instructions for these because they will pill and they will pull really quickly and they will pull really quite badly. And like I said, it's that fabric as well where it has a shine to it. It does have a sheen and it's also got that sort of... I don't know, it's like you leave fingerprint marks on it. If you've had Amplify fabric that's like that, you will know exactly what I mean. Um, but yeah, they're all very thin, all very soft, um, and all have that fluffy texture. But like I said, New Burgundy and Central Park, for me, feels slightly less soft and slightly less fluffy. Um, but Times Square and Grand Central for my shorts, girly pop they're feeling the exact same was that i got in leggings because i'm gonna like slowly transition into talking about the leggings in a second but i may as well go over the fabric of every single color um manhattan is super soft like grand central like super soft high stretch like there is no compression through the leg on these like they're very 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 stretchy it feels like you're putting tights on when you're putting this on and skyscraper is the exact same it literally feels like you're putting on a low denier tight when you're putting this on it feels the exact same as these two so you're going to run into the same issues that super soft silky fluffy feel that feels like tights and leaves those sort of fingerprint marks will pill will snag you really 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 need to be careful with these i just want to talk about scrunch inconsistencies as well because it's across the leggings and the shorts so i'm going to pop a clip in here so i can show you exactly what i mean the scrunches this time around guys are a little bit of a hot mess not gonna lie they range anywhere between three inches some are three inches some are 3.5 inches some are 3.75 inches like some of them are like this one is a lot longer than this one isn't quite as long like this one's longer than this one and they're both a legging there's even differences between the shorts like this one's three inches and i'm pretty sure the rest are 3.5 so just a heads up, I think it's going to be like the lottery with how 
big this space is going to be this time and especially if you've got short glutes it does actually make a difference in how the scrunch looks so i just wanted to show you and i will pop on the screen like the measurements of my specific colors and what the scrunch space is so this bit here to the top of the waistband but honestly like take that with a pinch of salt because i don't think it's that these colors have these scrunches and these colors have these i think it's just it is literally going to be look of the draw so so yeah with the new scrunches they're like three inches for that scrunch space or 3.5 inches um when they've been worn a bit and stretched out a bit and alpha leak tend to have like a half inch tolerance across their seamless stuff um so it's probably like still within tolerance however the scrunches this time and it's not just like i've always found the legging scrunches to be longer um than the shorts i just always have with all my amplify however this time it's like between shorts and leggings like some of my scrunchies are three inches some of them are 3.5 and th some of them are 3.75 which is quite long for a scrunch and i'll have obviously shown you which ones are the longest ones and put the measurements and stuff in um but yeah my scrunchies are really inconsistent this time also it is that like shinier looking scrunch um it has quite a shine to it i find in the shorts i don't really get the lower back scrunch but in the leggings i do a little bit more it's not awful but it's definitely more noticeable on me in the leggings than it is on the shorts again i don't know why um but yeah just wanted to mention my scrunches it's the new thicker scrunch and it has that like shine to it but it's not they're not all as short this time there's like a bit of an inconsistency floating around and i don't really know why it's very very strange some of them are like quite a bit longer the final thing i just want to mention about the shorts which i love these shorts i know i've just absolutely roasted the fabric on these however and you can tell like when i'm training in them these do something to my glutes i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the bottom band i don't know if it's the glute contour these make my glutes look so good like these make my glutes look way better than the 4.5 inch shorts do i way prefer these and nasty little confession for you all but i've actually been wearing these more than my bikers recently i never thought i'd see the day now don't get me wrong i believe if these came in a biker i'd probably still prefer the biker but like these are really 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 glute flattering like way more glute flattering than the 4.5 the bottom band really does something to push the glutes up i'm convinced like it really does something to lift those cheeks up make them sit hoity toity you know make them really look good um the scrunch is really flattering on these generally speaking and i just think these are a lot more flattering than the 4.5 inch shorts a mixture of the glute contour and the bottom band which is like my favorite two features of this in terms of like the side panel it doesn't really bother me um as much as a waffle does it's just sort of like there i don't really notice it i can't really feel it when it's on even though it's got that different texture on the inside i can't feel it when it's on but i don't i also don't think it really adds anything it's just sort of there um whereas the glute contour i feel like it's really adding a nice little bit of shape in obviously it's not pushing up or anything like that but it does add a nice little bit of shape in and my glutes look so good in these even rolled down my glutes look really good in these rolled up my glutes look really good in these i this is quickly becoming like the contour shorts are quickly becoming one of my most worn alpha Lee bottoms products like the catching up to the bikers the amount of times i've worn my sand shorts is embarrassing quite frankly like i wear them all the time and with these new colors in particular especially these two like these colors in the shorts and also if i had skyscraper in the shorts that would be so flattering as well do make me feel really 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 confident like a lot more confident than um my 4.5 inch shorts can so i really really like these so in terms of would i recommend these last time i said no because of the fabric but i really didn't realize how good these made my glutes look and even with them being a super stretchy like non-compressive through the leg fabric because of that bottom band and the glute contour they still make your glutes sit really nice like they sit really really nice so i actually do recommend these proceed with extreme caution they're not going to be the most durable however like i said about the silicone wash if you wash them a few times before you wear them it might help a little bit um just to take that like initial like softness off 
Um, but yeah, I really, really like these. So to summarize in terms of sizing, really with the shorts, I think stay true to size or size up if you are between sizes. And if I'm gonna break it down into colors, based on what I received, I'm a small in Times Square and I'm a small in Central Park. And I would go medium in the new burgundy because the medium fits me completely fine and it's really no different to be honest. And I would go um, medium in Grand Central as well, like mine are quite snug. Um, and I would probably feel a bit more comfortable in a medium. A medium in these based off what I received would probably fit very similar to these. But I do think there's a lot of inconsistencies with the size in this time. Like even for me, I've been like, Eh, like the sizing has really confused me this time because I've had a lot of inconsistencies with it and it's really hard to give advice when things are inconsistent because I know that there's going to be some people that have a Grand Central that's huge or there's going to be some people that have a new Burgundy that's huge or there's going to be some people that have a Central Park that's tiny so it's really really difficult watch as many sort of reviews as you can and go with like the general consensus I'm just going off what I have received so to move on to the leggings um there won't be too much to go over because I've gone over like pretty much everything with the uh, shorts, we've done fabric and stuff, but just to show you details really, really quickly, three tier waistband again, these do sit a little bit lower than the shorts do on me. They're about half an inch shorter in the front rise, just something to be aware of. Um, Alphalete in forever stitching at the back, booty scrunch there, and then you've got all these sort of details down the side. I've decided to show you the details flatly because I, the clip of me trying to show you them was sat down when they're like in my hands was not it. So you basically got the waffle detail that runs sort of down the side front um, for a little bit of front contouring but nothing crazy. <laughs> oh no. I've snagged these ones as well. Um, and then it sort of connects via, it's like the um, shorts basically. You've got a little ribbed panel as well that runs next to the waffle and then you've got a ribbed seam that separates and this sort of brings you into the glute contour which is the exact same as it is on the shorts so it's slightly raised and it's like ribbed but it's not compressive at all like I don't think it actually like lifts it's just sort of like a very subtle sort of shape in and again it comes like a third of the way in and that runs sort of down the back of your leg like down your hamstring again you've got this like raised um rib seam all along there and then where that ends the waffle starts sort of here and then it sweeps ooh, around the back of your knee and then it comes down onto the calf basically and then at the front you've got the sort of ribbed detail here that sort of cuffs goes around at the bottom um hi sorry i'm just inserting this clip because i've just realized i forgot to compare the black friday drop of amplifier to these for you guys size whatever size you got in the black friday drop you can go the same size again so this is an extra small dusty rose to the extra small skyscraper again they are very 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 similar sage is like a tart like an incy wincy little bit bigger but whatever size you got in the leggings in the black friday drop if you've not tried contour before you can go with that size again off them here let me just compare someone asked me if the um ankle part is still bigger than normal amplify and the answer to that is yes because these are both a size small so in front i've got sage and in the back i've got my manhattan so if you found these baggy on your ankles last time you'll find them baggy on your ankles again um but yeah those are the details you don't have the mesh jacquard like you do on the standard amplifier and yeah those are pretty much the details so i only got three leggings um because one is fucking freezing in england and i need to get content for alphalete and i need to cover my legs because it's so cold but um so that's why i got three honestly otherwise i would have probably got less i would have probably literally got one pair of leggings um i would have much preferred to have these colors in the shorts like especially skyscraper i'm kind of sad i didn't do that that's because i don't like the leggings a lot of people have been able to get over the waffle i personally can't and i have ripped 
my pewter leggings and my sand leggings and i'm not an idiot i know how to put leggings on i even said in my last contour drop review i was like be careful when you're putting these on like the waffle is going to be delicate you know please be careful when you're putting these on and i was careful but with my i don't know how it actually happened with my pewter with my sand ones i had my knee sleeves on over them in the gym and i went to readjust the top of my legging and i was trying to pull carefully but i think because my knee sleeves were so tight and it was pulling my legging back down where I've pulled it, it like ripped and put a hole through the waffle print. So durability for me, not great, but I mentioned this in my Discord the other day and a lot of people prefer the contour leggings to standard amplify. I just personally don't, it's a personal preference. And for me, I haven't had a great experience with the waffle. Like it's been very, very delicate. I've snagged it, I've ripped it. These didn't have the waffle print on, but they kept the glute contour and maybe even they kept a little quad waffle contour. I would prefer these to normal amplify because I love the glute contour and I think they look really, 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 really good on and they're really flattering on the glutes, but I don't like the waffle print. It's right behind my knees and I just don't like it. So with that being said, I did actually want to let you guys know which colours I think the waffle print will be least noticeable on um, for anyone who was thinking about buying. And the answer to that is Manhattan, the brown, it will be less noticeable on. And also, I don't have them, but these are much darker colours. Central Park is 100% going to be the least obvious. And then... Um, I would say New Burgundy will also not be super obvious in terms of the waffle, but the rest of them, obviously Times Square is very bright. You can see the waffle. Skyscraper is like not a super dark grey. It's a lot lighter than pewter, so you can see it a lot more. And obviously, you know, with a colour like Grand Central, you're going to be able to see that waffle print. So. so yeah, I just don't like the waffle print. It's quite dated to me. And also another thing that plays into it is eye training shorts. I don't trade in leggings and the waffle print adds like a real performance feel feeling look to the legging so for me i tend to wear leggings for errands and i don't really want like panels of things that look very like performancey when i'm out running errands i'd prefer something a little bit more plain especially around like the knee region um so that's another thing that factors into it obviously if you're wearing these to the gym you won't mind that more performance look but because they're an errand thing for me with leggings that also plays into it a little bit as well ties in on these uh roll the tapes i'll put some clips in here to show you the leggings the skyscraper the gray is an extra small these two are a size small. My Times Square waistband, and again, I'll pop the measurements here, but my Times Square waistband is 11 inches, which is, like, that's the, waist, that, that's the waistband of a medium, not a small, but I've checked the label. It says size small, but they're running big. I've honestly not had discrepancies like this with Amplify in quite a while, to be honest. Um, they've been tight recently, but at least they've been like consistently tight. These ones are running like really, really big. I'd say these are pretty normal for a size small. Um, they're 10 inches, so they are to spec. And then the extra small, are, again, normal for an extra small. Just to show you a size small mocha legging from the last contour drop to my size small Manhattan. I've not done Times Square because that is just like way off spec um but even the manhattan ones i don't know my waistbands just aren't as tapered this time or my size smalls on the leggings um so something to keep in mind i'd still wear a size small but i just wanted to show you my extra small however compared to my extra small sand are pretty much the same my extra small skyscraper is actually a little bit smaller but again this is probably just stretched out a little bit from doing shoots and stuff in the sand color and i've trained in them as well um but yeah the extra smalls are a bit more consistent to show you guys what i mean like with porcelain last time i found that this was like the loosest fitting um and this is the new times square color these are both a size small my extra small are fine like they are to spec for an extra small they're a little bit snug but to be honest because this color is so stretchy it's actually not too bad on me i'm definitely spilling out a little bit in it like when i breathe out i'm definitely spilling out and i do prefer my manhattan small but these are not awful and um, these sort of remind me of how like mocha was last time in terms of like 
I can kind of get away with an extra small in the leggings because they're not super, like they've got a lot of give to them basically, especially with that silicone wash. I feel like it's on the waistband too and it just makes the waistband very like slippy and stretchy. Um, but yeah, for an extra small they are to spec because an extra small should be nine inches for seamless. A size small should be 10 inches. So my Manhattan are to spec as well. Like I've mentioned already in this video, Alpha Elite have a half inch tolerance currently. I don't know if that's gonna change. So if something is a size small, but it's 9.5 or it's 10.5, even though it might seem like a big difference, technically it's not like a faulty size. My Times Square are fucking huge. I, I say huge, take that with a pinch of salt. They're just huge for a small. They're 11 inches, which means by like Alpha Elite standards, these are technically like faulty in sizing because that's half an inch over the tolerance. This is a medium. A medium should be 11 inches. My Times Square Small are basically a medium and I've checked the label. They're a size small. What's happened, but they are huge. Like based off this, I would need an extra small in Times Square. And I know that someone put in my Discord earlier that Bailey's Times Square leggings are big as well. So that's something to keep in mind as well it's not just me who has experienced this um and generally people are saying the lighter colors aren't as snug i would agree with times square but like my grand central is very like small in terms of measurements and is actually snugger than my times square and my central park so for me that wasn't true for the shorts but the leggings i know that bailey had this issue as well mine are like yeah they're not intolerance for a size small spec for seamless are actually running really really big based off this if they're all like this i need an extra small in this size because it's too big my manhattan size small are perfect like this is sort of like my ideal fit for amplify it's a little bit compressive in the waist uh, but it's not too much and then I don't really have a ton of excess fabric in the leg and I do think most of the other size smalls are going to be like this so for me for leggings I would say to stay true to size if you go between sizes definitely go with your size up go with your size up and I'm basing this off the contour feedback I got last time because this feels very 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 similar a lot of people said that didn't go with the size up if they go between they said that they had wished that they'd gone with the size up so especially if you don't like a really compressive fit if you are between definitely do go with a size up but for me true to size is fine and my size small manhattan fits me perfectly my times square is just huge like it's out of spec i would need an extra small in this and my skyscraper extra small isn't bad but the the size small is like my ideal fit um skyscraper isn't too snug either but i don't i i'm not bothered about sizing down especially for sheerness in the leggings i prefer a size small true to size in the leggings if between um go with your size up these are not compressive in the leg at all the waistband is compressive but the leg on these is not compressive like it's got stretch like it goes for days like same with the leggings like these have got infinite stretch like they are so stretchy in the leg like immensely stretchy um so yeah super super stretchy to note which i went over in the last one is just that how the waffle print looks on the inside just so that no one gets scared when they get them if it's got all these or like some of them are pulled don't worry about it it doesn't impact like the actual waffle on the outside apparently and it didn't last time because some of mine were broken but the waffles still look normal so if yours arrive with a couple like not attached or you break it it's not impacting the waffle on the outside because mine are fine and some of them are broken on the inside but do be careful when you're putting them on you know nails rings bracelets can get caught to this be careful with the waffle print do not pull on the waffle do not pull around the waffle if you get in the leggings and you've got knee sleeves on don't fanny around with the fit of the top of your leggings like the tension of your knee sleeve pulling the legging down is going to cause issues when you're pulling it back up trust me i learned the hard way and in terms of the inseam on these i think it's like 27 20 26 I think it's like 27 inches it's like the same as normal amplify but amplify is so stretchy that like it's kind of irrelevant because you can just pull it up and down so these suit taller girls these also suit shorter girls just be aware 
the ankle is bigger on these so if you had that issue last time or you've never bought before and you've got really skinny ankles that ankle might be a little bit baggy i don't know why it is like that yeah to round up on sizing true to size if between sizes size up it really is that simple i always find leggings a lot more simple um and in terms of the fit and everything like i said these sit a little bit lower than the shorts on me my belly button is a little bit more out the super stretchy so i can pull it up to cover it again but just be aware these do sit slightly lower than the shorts and again it's the like updated fit so like everything sits a little bit lower um so it's great for short people but if you're a little bit taller you might have issues but these are so stretchy you could probably pull them up to like cover your boobs like they're incredibly stretchy they've got a lot of give they've got a lot of give for me these are a hard pass i would 100 percent pick the shorts over these for a lot of reasons first of all i fucking hate the waffle i'm not gonna dance around it i really don't like the waffle print i know some people think it's dramatic that's okay i just really 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 don't like the waffle print and i wouldn't i don't want it on my leggings i don't like it however just to be aware you can't like feel it when it's on i don't really feel it when it's on i don't really feel any sort of weird texture going on behind my knees um that is one good thing but i'm just not a huge fan of the waffle and also with the fabric being so sheer the leggings are always a lot worse which is another reason why um for leggings i do more errands and i don't want a performance look with waffle print and shit for errands that's another reason and lastly would just be the fabric you are much less like there's much less to catch this on because there's less of it than there is with a legging i feel like with a legging it can end up looking busted a lot quicker because there's a lot more of it to catch on um so with the shorts it just feels like it makes more sense for me um but yeah the leggings are a pass from me if you like them if you like the design if you like this sort of fabric you will love them okay finally moving on they're dropping a bunch of heavy cotton pump covers um so i'm gonna pop in every single pump cover that they are dropping here um but i picked three up i picked up my three favorites i'm a fucking idiot actually i'm not an idiot awfully cruelly called this the crest tee so i'm thinking brush crest tee the brushed crest tees that they did which are a different fabric and they're super soft and loungy and i love that fabric um so that's why <laughs> i was really excited about them and i do like the heavy cotton like there's nothing wrong with it however i do really really like the brushed ones and i've been really enjoying them recently for comfort it's cold like i want to be cozy it's snug as a bug in a rug so however it's not it's just called a crest tee but it's actually the heavy cotton pump cover every single t-shirt that i've just put on the screen is the heavy cotton pump cover and there really isn't much to report so i'm just going to show you the designs and we'll go over sizing again so this is the cement color in one of the designs um this is another brand's thing is it palace is that the brand i'm thinking of what brand does this triangle thing i'm really blanking on it with like the logo underneath is it something to do with camping is it go outdoors it can't be go outdoors they wouldn't possibly do that although they did do the lonsdale looking logo a little triangle and then an orange wolf head in the middle and i just really like this it also times it um ties in really nicely with times square um and i really like the color of this it's like a creamy gray color and i just really really like it it's really light as well um and then it's got the logo massive on the back the only thing to note is the orange wolf head is completely matte um however the gray stuff is almost like shiny it's like it's got glitter in it yeah so i got this one in a medium that's one of the designs i then got this one in a large the reason i got this one in a medium not a large was because i thought it was a crest tee which i wear a medium in that's the only reason um and then again i got these in a large because i realized these were the heavy cotton pump cover tees so this one just says alpha Lee on the front and it's sort of printed on and then in the back and this is the vintage black color it's got every single logo that the brand has ever done and in 20 what year are we in 20 in 2025 feb 2020 20, feb 2020 am um, i all right feb 2025 the brand is actually going to be turning 10 years old so they've really burnt through a lot of logos but i just think this is really really cool um and i've been buying alpha leap for a long time so all of these are very familiar to me i don't want to hear anything about a certain brand being like they copied us because 
I distinctly remember Christian posted this t-shirt a long time ago on his stories. Yeah, for the record, he posted this months ago and I remember when he posted it, I was like, please put this online. I was just thinking, please put this online. And he did. So this is coming in two colorways. And then I got the ghost tee as well. This one, the logo on this reminds me of like the Trap Star logo. So it says Alphalee and then in the middle, it says athletics in like a sort of yellowy gold cursive font. Um, but yeah, I think it's called the ghost tea because this sort of looks gothic. Um, but I got this in the green shade. And again, I got this one in a large because I clocked it. it was a heavy cotton pump cover. If you've never bought one of the heavy cotton pump covers before, they're manufactured in the USA. They've got a really high neckline. They've got a dropped shoulder. They're really like loose fitted, very like sort of oversized boyish fit. Very dropped shoulder, very oversized the fabric is heavy cotton as you would imagine one thing to note is these do shrink in the wash and i would recommend that you factor that into your sizing because i used to get mediums and then over time i noticed that my mediums were getting like shorter and shorter and i was finding that they were shrinking and they also when they come they're a bit softer they're not super soft they're definitely like a heavy cotton feel but when you wash them they do get stiffer so keep that in mind as well so that's why I do larges now because it factors in a little bit of shrinkage and also it getting a bit stiffer. Um, and if something's just like not quite oversized enough when it's stiff, it just looks a little off in my opinion. So that's why I do a large in the t-shirts and a large also looks better for tucking into the back um, of the t-shirts. I find that that looks a lot better as well. Whereas a medium is definitely better for wanting to wear it out for me you know if i wanted to wear an oversized t-shirt with leggings this one doesn't look like overly big but the larges work better for tucking into the back and also i would do medium if i wanted to tuck it all the way around if i do that with a large it's way too much fabric and it makes my bra look really bulky that's also what i use the larges for so for like a really oversized look or for tucking into the back the larges work better for me and i've also factored in the fact that it's going to shrink down a little bit um something to be aware of is sweat proofness these are not sweat proof and they are also heavy cotton so for some people they're too heavy to train in so do keep that in mind if you prefer something really lightweight you're not going to like these or you like something really brushed and soft you're not going to like these if you prefer more heavyweight t-shirt pump covers you will really 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 like these and in terms of sizing like i said i can do medium or large for different purposes um i would recommend that you go to be honest it really depends how you want this to fit because i'm a size small if i got a size small it's not going to not fit it's just not going to be oversized enough for me i would say a size small would be like a relaxed fit on me this is like oversized and the large is like oversized. So it just depends how you want it to fit. Um, generally speaking, go at least one size up from your usual size for an actual oversized fit, but it depends what you want it for. And if you're stuck, you can just message me on Instagram and I'll let you know. Yeah, the only other thing to know is obviously if you are tucking these, this one works quite well. The ghost one works quite well because you can tuck it so that this is at the bottom of the back. Um, if you're going to tuck the logo one, be aware that you're going to be tucking like half the logos out at the back. And if you are tucking the crest one, do be aware you will end up tucking like part of the Alphalete logo underneath. Um, which to be honest actually doesn't look bad when you've just got the triangle out. But just be aware of that, you will be tucking away like part of the design on the back for this one. Just because it is so big. But yeah, those are the t-shirts and I do really like them. Um, the up there with my favourites for pump covers, but recently I have been preferring a more brushed fabric, but I'm sure I'll get back into my heavy cotton over winter now that it is baltically cold. Um, and I wore this one to the gym today and I really, really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, that is everything for this haul. My top picks for this haul would be the Deep V bras. I'm like obsessed. I think I'm probably... I really shouldn't buy more, to be honest. Like, I really shouldn't. I've got so many bras now with the strappy bras. In particular, I've got, like, every single colour. But I just really like these bras. I might get the brown one. I think I'll get the brown one. And maybe a black one as well. I really, really, really like the Deep V bras. That would be a top pick out of this drop for me personally. Um, in terms of the shorts, I would 100% snug a pair of shorts. Like I said, I've been wearing these more than bikers recently. So take from that what you will. The glutes are gluting in these. The bunda is bundering, if you will. 
you know, the bundery is truly, truly, truly bundering in these shorts. I love them. And if I had to pick two colours only, I'd probably go with these two. Although, to be fair, honourable mentions to skyscraper in manhattan i like manhattan a lot more than i thought i would because i don't like rich brown much but this is a much nicer color something about it, it's just richer it's giving more it's giving more of what it needs to give My top picks and then i feel like as much as i love this t-shirt i just feel like this is so cool and i feel like this is such like a collector's item almost i really really like that they've done this and i think it's sick so for that reason if i had to pick one t-shirt I'd go with this one. I just think it's really, really, really cool. And it's vintage black. Do you know what I mean? It goes with literally anything. It's very, very wearable and it also comes in white. I do really like this color though. Like I do really, really like it. But if you could only get one, I'd probably go with this just because one, it's more wearable and two, it's like a real collector's piece. Those would be my top picks for this drop. If you've got any questions whatsoever, comment them down below, message me on Instagram, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you are using my code on the 16th for the drop, please message me so I can say thank you. Like I said, I wouldn't be able to work with Alphalete um, if it wasn't for you guys, so I really, really, really do appreciate it. I also just wanna say as well, a massive, massive, massive thank you for um, your support on Black Friday. It means, a lot to me um you know it was my fourth black friday with alpha lee and every single year i get just as anxious i get just as nervous i get just as worried i get just as excited at the same time um and i really like this time of year is just very full of gratitude and unicorns and rainbows and all that good stuff but genuinely i am actually really really grateful for anyone who use my code on black friday who use my code this year who didn't shop black friday because you don't have the funds to or you just don't want to but you like watching my content you support me like i said this on instagram like i did not like the thing i least expected to come from starting all of this was going to be the community that we've ended up with like it blows my mind and i appreciate you all so much like you guys have never made me feel like i need to be anything but myself and for me that's really really special i've just always sort of struggled to be myself in a lot of situations because i get really shy and anxious but i never feel like with that with you guys there's been a few people that i've met this year and i just felt like instantly i feel like we have a connection and i can just be myself people have come up to me and said hi this year which to me is like <laughs> the craziest thing ever but i absolutely and especially now, like I can, I feel like I've come a long way with my social anxiety. So I love speaking to you guys and like having a proper conversation and learn more about you. Like I absolutely love it. And again, I never feel uncomfortable. I always feel 100% comfortable. And that is because of you guys. And I always feel like myself because of you guys, like the community that you guys have created for me that we've created together is truly something special and i just wanted to say a massive massive thank you um but yeah this is going to be my last alpha leap video of the year so thank you for everything this year i hope you guys have an amazing christmas if you hate this time of year i feel you my dms are always open if you want to speak to anyone about it um always 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 open just hope that you are all doing okay and doing what you can in this festive season to enjoy it in a way that works for you have an amazing christmas if you're celebrating it if you don't have an amazing festive period have an amazing new year and i will see you guys in january in terms of alpha Elite halls thank you for everything you guys are the best appreciate you so much bye guys happy shopping like i said any questions message me on instagram or comment them below sizing help message me on instagram or comment them below and i will help you out but yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye